What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we're taking a look at the Global Lab update for this week. There's not a ton of stuff to it, but uh, there's a developer's note I wanted to at least touch base on, especially coming off the back of the Heidel Ball, and then like maybe one real cool thing that's going on. So let's just take a look, this will be a real short one. Um, so first up, uh, what I was talking about here, this developer's note, um, they say, currently we're working on awakening PvP for each character, just like they said at Heidel Ball. As many adventures are waiting for you, uh, we aim to provide the most satisfactory results. The related contents were scheduled to be applied through today's update, but it'll be updated during the regular update of the lab next week, uh, as it's determined that a more internal test is required. That's a good thing. Uh, we also want to put it in as fast as, as soon as a week, uh, but we want to be as careful as possible. So we ask for your patience while they're working on this. That's good news in, in some sense that uh, they want to continue actually testing this internally before launching it to the global labs so we don't see the as much of the normal outcry we see whenever. There's all sorts of changes, um, but also it, it feels quite quick uh, even on the back of that. I'm sure they were working on this prior to the Heidel Ball, but having just come off the back of that and seeing all these changes happening uh, very, very quickly is pretty interesting. So anyhow, they're working on it. Let's see what they come up with and then go from there. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe be completely ramped maybe not but it's coming at some point here soon uh, aside from that we've got uh, some updates to mushroom usage uh, using it the it used to have five percent stun resistance uh, and stiffness resistance or whatever and after it's added freeze as well that's kind of whatever here um, we've got an update to Vel here. Uh, the Basically, the barrier for it was adjusted. I'll read the developer's note to you here. Uh, keep in mind, this is all in Google Translate, so it's a little bit wonky, uh, the actual text. Uh, as the number of personal ships has increased in recent years, Vel's area is becoming more crowded. In order to make uh, that this a little bit smoother, the position of the barrier summoned in front of Vel was pushed inward to, to secure the battle space. Uh, instead, caution should be taken as entering the barrier can destroy the ship. So essentially, the enclosure portion around Vel uh, has been made smaller so that more ships can fit in the area in front um, with the same amount of range in order to be able to hit Vel. So hopefully ships can more easily hit it. So yeah, that should be pretty helpful and it just makes sense since more people are going, ships are bigger, carracks exist, uh, and that sort of thing. Only other thing uh, of real note, there's a, a quest that you can obtain uh, sharps and hards from, uh, from Pointed Hunter's Instinct and Pointed Hunter's Tenacity. Um, quests uh, from an NPC and then they've also implemented that you can see the percentages for dream horse attempts we actually knew these percentages from data mines uh, some a long while back actually uh, but they're just going to go ahead and put it in just like enhancement rates uh, were eventually added to the game we're going to have this on your dream horse fail stacking as well so probably should have been around for a while around the same time that they introduced enhancement percentages but I guess better late than never uh, as far as that goes. Other than that, nothing huge for it. Just a note about the PvP changes, Vel's area, percentages, and of course, the mushroom update we we're all waiting for. So there's that one for you. Let me know what you guys think about that. What are you looking forward to in these PvP changes? Um, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoy the video, be sure to like it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos go live. And if you want to catch me playing live, be sure to head on over to my Twitch page. There's a link in the description down below. You can head over there and uh, just drop a follow so you'll get notifications for that as well. With that said, that's going to be it for this one. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs> that's a built up a uh, nice strong left pinky for that. Between uh, playing uh, Dark Knight for years on jamming on that shift key and uh, playing with your mom most evenings, my pinky is very, very, very strong now.